I saw this sister once in, uh, De in Detroit, in Dearborn, Michigan. And I noticed that she didn't just wear the hijab, but the full shador, the full shador. I said to her sister, uh, is this like how you wear your hijab to the mosque? Or is she goes, no, no, this is what I wear everywhere. And I work and I have children and I go on errands and I drop the kids off at school. I pick them up. I go shopping. I do all these things. I said, have you ever been, has anyone has ever bothered you? She said, all the time. I live in an area that's got many racist people in that area. And even though we've been neighbors for years and years, but they still look at me the wrong way every time I walk past. I said, so, you know, you could technically remove the chador and wear a decent hijab and, you know, you wouldn't be violating. She said, Sayyid, if I do that today, I'll be compromising on other things tomorrow. I'll keep compromising and I'll keep compromising because why? Because my objective is for them to like me. That's why I'm doing this. Who cares if they like me? Who cares if they're happy with me? And let's face it, they will never like me. These are a bunch of racist people who have an inherent hatred towards us regardless. The day they're happy with me is the day I look exactly like them. And I start walking and talking like them. And even then, they won't be happy with me. فَلَن تَرْضَى عَنْكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they'll never be happy. So stop making compromises then. Don't make any concessions. Stick to your faith. Plant your feet firmly in the ground and say, I'm a Husseini, I'm a Zainabi. Come what may. I don't care. They mock me, fine. That's the price of admission into the universe of Hussein. That's the price of admission in being with Hussein and with Zainab and with Fatima and with Ali and with Hassan. If that's what it takes, I'll do it. People gawking and people smiling and people giggling. Who cares? Amir al-Mu'maneen says, Wallah, it wouldn't affect me the slightest bit if everyone flocked to me, if everyone praised me, if everyone walked behind me. It wouldn't add any honor in me. It wouldn't make me any feel any better about myself. And if everyone abandoned me, if everyone left me alone, again, I couldn't care less. That's one of the most beautiful expressions of the Ahlul Bayt and their character is that they could not care less about people admonishing them or people making negative comments about them. Don't be obsessed with that. That whole social media dopamine rush dynamic that we've been fed. Don't be obsessed with that. It doesn't matter who likes you, who doesn't like you. You know what matters? It is whether Imam al-Zaman likes you. It is whether he's pleased with you. Because if he's pleased with you, then God is pleased with you. If God is pleased with you, the hadith says, مَنْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهَ يُطَاعَ وَمَنْ اتَّقَ اللَّهَ يُتَّقَى Whoever obeys God, others obey him. Have you seen our maraja? Have you seen our grand scholars? They couldn't care less about what anybody said. And yet sometimes half a line written with their own hands goes out in the form of an edict or a fatwa or an injunction of some kind or another and entire countries are mobilized.